So recently I set up my Switch and my CRT TV and I hooked them up together and a few people asked how I did that and I decided I would let you guys in on my $10 secret as to how to do it. Well, maybe not $10, it was like $12, but close enough. What we're going to be talking about is the mini HDMI to AV upscaler. It is an upscaler to 1020 or 1080p. You've got your output, your input, and then you've got a power which is plugged in via USB, and then also your switch between PAL and NTNC. However, I want to let you know that the NTSC did not work, the PAL did. So maybe that's something that's been switched. You may have to flip that back and forth to figure out what yours works with. However, this is a cool little box. I will put the link to this down below. It is on Amazon. They have different colors. There's white, there's black with silver writing. There's a bunch of cool stuff. But this is a little box that I love to use when I want to do something weird or just play a, a new HDMI related game or console on my CRT. So what I'll do is I'll grab that power cord, I'll plug it in, and then I will take the other end and plug it into whatever console I'm using because if it has HDMI, most likely it has USB. And then I will plug the HDMI from the console into this and then I will output to the TV. Now I will say it does not have, did not come with RCA to the TV. I have one of those already. I usually have a switch that I have uh, multiple consoles on. So that wasn't a big deal to me. But I wanted to show you guys how cool this thing actually is. It is very small, which means it does not take up a lot of space. And if you notice, I just kind of plug it in and then push it off the back. It doesn't hang or anything unless you have a cord that's kind of short. And honestly, I'm very happy with this. Now, people will probably complain and say, hey, that's not going to look that great. Honestly, it's still playable and it's a lot of fun. So I don't mind it. It's actually a lot, a lot of fun when I do that. So I just wanted to let you guys know how to get your hands on one of these. Now that link that's going to be down below in the description is an affiliate link so if you buy one of these and you click on that link you'll give me a small percentage it's like two or three percent it's not really anything crazy but whatever it is it helps so if you're wanting to pick up one of these make sure you click that link because honestly these things are pretty cool and as a retro lover i usually just have the crt set up i don't have an hdmi tv set up so this really works out because honestly it makes it look good and I can get some cool um, sh kind of visuals I guess because you're getting the lines and all that stuff. So I really definitely recommend getting one of these especially if you just want to play around with it. If you're going to shoot video maybe use it to make people think wow what is that but I really do think this is definitely worth it. It was only $12 and I'm pretty sure that was shipped free so I'm not complaining but I definitely definitely think that you should pick one of these up if you like this and you like the idea. Now I've seen a few others and I think this is kind of the best one for me because it's nice and small and com compact and honestly look at it next to a Joy-Con. Like it is very small. It is not necessarily that thick either. It is about the same thickness as a Joy-Con when you're talking about the triggers down there. So I definitely, definitely think you should pick one of these up because this looks really cool and I have a lot of fun with it. It's, it's something weird and unique that I think is definitely cool to have, especially when I have this arsenal of games and different consoles. Having one TV that I could play either HDMI or ACA, RCA into it is a great thing. So if you guys thought this was cool or if you like this video, please comment down below and let me know. All the stuff that you need is in the description, whether it's social media or Patreon or uh, that Amazon link to this. So with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, 
make sure you hit that bell notification because it lets you know when I post my videos, which is every day. So with that being said, make sure you have a good day.